Welcome back to First Issues. COVID-19 has shown us that the theory that health issues are not relevant to business is fallacy. Economies have collapsed due to this one health issue. Therefore, on First Issues, we strive to bring you health tips. Between meetings and never-ending deadlines in various workplaces, eating healthy could prove to be a cumbersome exercise. It's easier and quicker to opt for junk fatty foods such as chips and fried chicken wings over a wholesome meal, which on the flip side takes longer to prepare, whether as a packed lunch or at a restaurant. On the inverse, however, making better food choices over faster, easier choices can actually ensure that we perform better at work, according to our resident health tips feature specialist, Dr. Kieran Bagot. Let's talk about fats. There is much talk and conversation in the public media about unhealthy fats and raised cholesterol. But it is important to realize that cholesterol is a vital part of the body. Almost 70% of your brain is made of fat or good cholesterol. The lining of the nerves that communicate between the brain and your nervous system in your upper limbs and lower limbs is sheathed in fat, which we call myelin. Therefore, fat is essential, but the correct fat is important to take. Bad fats are generally those that are processed fats, fats that are manufactured in a factory. Classic examples are the oils extracted from seeds such as sunflower and soya. The chemical process used to extract these oils is so toxic that eventually the toxicity of those chemicals in that glowing sunflower oil are toxic and highly inflammatory. So avoid processed oils, but eat natural fats which are healthy for you. You can actually eat fat to get thin, believe it or not. Healthy fats are things such as coconut oil, olive oil, avocado, butter, and ghee, which is clarified butter. These are healthy oils and should be consumed on a regular basis. Having a high cholesterol does not mean the end of the world. When your cholesterol is measured as high, ask the clinic or the doctor what is the range of the cholesterols for there are good cholesterols and bad cholesterols and you need to distinguish what is high and what is low before being prescribed a cholesterol lowering pill This program was brought to you in association with First National Bank of Botswana. FNB, how can we help you?